Stranger Things Season 4 Volume 2 The Best Theories and Prediction Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Stranger Things Season 6 Volume 1 is finally out on Netflix. The new season sees several new characters and surprising plot twists. Fans and critics are applauding the latest seasons after having binge-watched the first volume and are eagerly waiting for the volume 2, which arrives on July 1st. In this video, we take a look at the best fan theories regarding the second volume of Stranger Things Season 4. Stay tuned and beware of spoilers, there are plenty of them. Music saves the world Many believe that the people of Hawkins will learn the truth about the Upside Down in the coming episodes. But thankfully, Eddie Munson will save the town with the power of rock and roll, which will convince everyone of his innocence. Another Reddit user believes that Eleven and Eddie could do it a la rock and roll. For those who don't know, Rock and Roll is a 1983 animated science fantasy rock fable in a post-apocalyptic America. The ultimate goal is to stop Fekna from destroying Hawkins and possibly the whole world. Demogorgon Origins Some fans of the Stranger Things series believe we will finally learn the truth behind the Demogorgons. According to one, Demogorgons are in actuality mutated humans. They speculate that Fekna's victims such as Crazy Cunningham and Fred Benson are slowly turning into Demogorgons in the spires surrounding the ruins of Fekna aka Henry Creel's home. Not everyone is convinced of this idea, however, and one fan explains that the classic Stranger Things monsters are akin to the xenomorphs of the Alien franchise, one of the many films which heavily influenced the Duffer brothers. Like xenomorphs, Demogorgons seemingly implant larvae in living hosts as they did with Will in the final episode of Season 1. Sounds crazy, right? What do you think? Mind Flayer and Fekna Connection the connection between Fekna and the Stranger Things recurring villain, the Mind Flayer, has been highly speculated. Some agree with Dustin's theory that Fekna is his five-star general, but some Reddit users believe that the Mind Flayer is just an extension of Fekna's mind, or was specifically created by Fekna, as the creature often resembles a spider which Henry related to a child. However, other fans believe that Dustin's theory is correct, as being Fekna's soldiers undersells the character of the Mind Flayer. They also believe the story would not be as hard-hitting if the source of the evil was some guy in his 30s who would have benefited from lots of therapy. The Upside Down Tolkien Connections In a curiosity voyage, one Reddit user theorizes that when Henry Creel, or number one, was sent into the Upside Down by Eleven in 1979, his mind molded the dimensions into his own image. They also postulate that Henry Creel was inspired by Tolkien's Lord of the Ring descriptions of Mordor while creating. In Season 1, Dustin compared the Upside Down to the Fail of Shadows. As Dungeons and Dragons was heavily inspired by Tolkien's Middle Earth novels, Mordor and the Fail share a similar eerie landscape. One fan speculated that Henry Creel seemed like the type of a kid that would be interested in Tolkien's work. This bizarre but fascinating theory concluded with the connections that Henry's name from number one is similar to the one ring to rule them all. In the darkness, find them. Will Byers a super villain. With only minor characters' deaths up until now, fans believe a major character is most likely to die in Stranger Things Season 4 Volume 2 in order to set up the final season. According to one Reddit user, it could be Jonathan setting Will Byers up as the final villain. If Jonathan dies saving Nancy or Joyce, it would put Will over the edge and considering his connections to the Mind Flayer, it makes Will a possible host for Fekna, which would make his painting reveal even more important no matter what it is. Team Ups the Secret Season 4 Volume 2 trailer teases the Mind Flayer's return, and it has seemingly been captured by the Russians. According to a Reddit user, this could have left a power vacuum which led to Fekna becoming the new center of the hive mind and the murder of several Hawkins teenagers. This Reddit user theorizes that the only way that Fekna can be defeated is if Eleven and the Mind Flayer work together. They would come to an agreement where the Mind Flayer gets dominion over the Upside Down if they agree to leave Hawkins alone. However, another Redditor believed that Hopper will shove the Mind Flayer back in the Upside Down and the battle for dominance over the dimensions will lead into Season 5. Creations of the Upside Down Who created the Upside Down? According to one Reddit user, the creator of the Upside Down is none other than Eleven. She created it until Henry Creel or Number One chilled there and made it his own creation. As Henry believes that humans are pests, poisoning our world, he has changed this dimensions to depict his perfect world without humans. Agreeing with this theory, another Redditor theorized that Elle made Henry Creel a prison 
but that Vecna was able to make his own world out of this prison. While someone else speculates that Eleven did not make the monsters of the Upside Down, such as the Demogorgons, but they are the beast from the parallel dimensions that leads into Elle's pocket dimension. What are your thoughts on these crazy theories? We'd love to hear from you guys. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching.